Okay, so hello everyone. So what I asked for us to have today is a long band. The reason being is that we're going to be doing a lot of back extension exercises and the band is going to add more resistance. Now having said that, also, it would be really nice if you have something to hook the band into so you can have resistance pulling back with it. If you don't have that option, that's okay. We just work with what we have and um, you can do without resistances, okay? Um, that's one thing for the band. So I'm thinking of the, the leg of your bed, the leg of the table, if you have anything to hook it in front of you, which are, oh, I have the box here, I'm gonna use my box. So basically what I'm saying is if you have something to hook on and the, the band's coming from that direction, I can pull this way and use resistance that way, okay? So in my case, I hooked it on the, basically on my box. I don't know if you can see it. So I hooked it here to have resistance in front of me. Okay, you can, you, you can hook it on anything or nothing, it's fine just something different since you're home and you have tables and beds and things you can hook even doorknobs but if you don't don't worry about it then for the lunges if you wanted to make your lunges harder then you could do it on a roller or not uh, or you can use the roller for stability if you have it okay or just do the lunges on the floor also fine just give you different options to make it harder all right, so having said all that, we're gonna start on our back and we're gonna start breathing. Then we're gonna go through some abdominal exercises and then we're gonna start with some of the back extension exercises. So let's lay on our backs. So have your feet in front of you. Roll down however it's comfortable for you. Then find your alignment. Feet in alignment with sit bones, knees in alignment with hip, hands on the ground, elbows bent to spread your shoulders wide, or reach the arms, shoulders and scapulas down to your feet, and we're gonna go through our breath. Okay, so if everything is tight, just leave it. Let it be for now, and just try to bring it to the back of your rib cage, expanding the ribs down and out into the mat, and when you do that, actually the front of the chest will relax a little bit. And then when you continue breathing, it will expand up. Breathe out, if you can for now, pull the pelvic floor, sink, pubic bone, abdominals, hug your bottom ribs. Breathe in to the back and side of ribs. Breathe out, pull. Keep breathing. I'm going to turn everybody's, I'm going to mute everybody. I think everybody already put their volume. Yes, you did. Thank you for muting. Very good. Good. I see that the cats are also breathing. The dogs are also breathing. <laughs> we got all the animals. Excellent job. Anybody's got a fish in a bowl breathing too? All right, love it. <laughs> Good. Give me two more breaths and then we're gonna start imprinting pelvis. So whenever you're ready, you're gonna start scooping the abdominals, imprinting the spine. Make sure that the ribs come down and connect to the, rib, to the hips. Then on the breath in, lengthen the tailbone, arch the low back, and dip your pubic bone between your big toes without lifting the chest and the ribs too much. Breathe out, scoop first, pelvic floor, hollow lift, connect the hip bones to the ribs. Breathe in, lengthen the tailbone and pubic bone, arch the low back, and forward you go. So I'm not squeezing my butt at all to imprint all abdominal, abdominals, with the butt, it will look something like this. We don't want it. Keep the upper body nice and relaxed. 
and try to get the movement of the back and the abdominals to go, to go deeper and longer. I know I forgot to put the phone on airplane mode. Okay, find your neutral. So tailbone, sacrum, back of pelvis on mat, low back hovering off the mat, ribs melted as best as you can. Remember that if you're very tight on your mid upper back and neck, you can raise the head a little bit to melt the, shoulder, the ribs down, okay? We're gonna march. So breathe into the back and side of the ribs. Breathe out, stabilize ribs, back, pelvis. Then float the right leg up, keeping the pelvis still. Breathe out, scoop the abdominals. Bring the leg down. And then alternate, other leg up. Breathe out. Bring it down. So going up and down with the legs, just gonna lift my head to see everybody. So remember that each time you move, you want to scoop more. So Rania or anybody else, don't bring your leg all the way up here because your pelvis is gonna move. You have to keep the pelvis completely stable and the leg is only gonna go as far back as there's no imprint, no tilt. So make sure the leg moves and the pubic bone stays reaching forward, the back still arch and the sacrum is in the same place. Lift the leg to the ceiling, bring it back. Just let it float. It's just adding challenge and no movement here. Is your tailbone heavy on the ground in the same place all the time? That's what you want to happen. Good. Finish it off with your left leg. And we're gonna go into crunches. So for the arms, this is the one we usually use, arms straight up to the ceiling to warm up the shoulder joints, which we're gonna use a lot today. Okay, so when you're doing your crunches, you can bring and make and have your arms go as wide range of motion as you can keep your ribs still. Supporting the head is an option. Hands next to the hip is another option. Okay, so pick what's comfortable for your shoulders and your neck today. I'm gonna show you this one first and then I'm gonna show you everything else as we go. Legs stay, pelvis stays neutral. Tuck your chin to the length of the back of the neck and head without collapsing or cr uh, crushing the front. Breathe out, scoop the abdominals. <sighs> Press the back of the ribs, roll the head and the shoulders, reach the arms, keep your chest nice and open, and then control coming down. So push your ribs down, one bone at a time, last thing to land is the head, and if you wanna keep the arm moving back with no shoulder injuries, go ahead. Breathe out. Don't move the pelvis, only move head and ribs. Keep that neutral pelvis. Now, if you're supporting the head, shoulders and elbows wide, 45 degrees is fine, and you're pressing the back of the head back into the hand and not shifting or pulling the head forward. Same thing, moving from the rib cage. And if your hand is next to you, you're just gliding the scapulas and the arms forward, controlling it down. Now, let's add the marches to the crunch. So you're gonna crunch, march the leg, and look, no movement on pelvis, just the rib cage and the leg. And then down you go, controlling everything. Give me six. Nice wide chest, no rounding of the shoulders. So keep the scapulas gently squeezing back, like you're holding a big pomelin. Or think of opening the collarbone in the front of the chest. Good. When you're done with your six, we're going to rest down. Nice. We're going to go into single leg toe taps and double leg toe taps. If this is too much for you guys to do, just continue with the marches and marches and crunches. Otherwise, you're going to imprint. You're going to keep the imprint, march one leg up, imprint again. Without arching the back, bring the other leg up. Knees closer to you will be more support for your low back. Knees away will be much more challenge. 
You're gonna take one leg down. Before you go, you're gonna imprint the spine and bring your hip and ribs closer together. The leg is only gonna go as far as you maintain the connection of the hips and the ribs, and then the leg goes back up. Breathe out. So watch, watch the breath. It's not a leg workout, okay? So again, breathe out, half the breath, imprint. The other half, you keep imprinting and you relax the leg down. Look how slow I'm moving. Breathe in, the leg goes back up. Wow, I look like I'm slow motion. Breathe out, imprint. Look at my legs. Again, I'm not pushing my leg down. I am relaxing it down. And just let it the weight. Then if I tap, great. And then I pull it slowly up. So the faster you go, it's all legs and nothing is happening. So breathe out, imprint. Breathe in, slowly up. So watch your rhythm. Should be the same rhythm down as up, Tamara. The same rhythm that you go down, now slow it down on the way up as well. Good, same rhythm. I'm not changing tempos. It's okay if you don't go all the way down. Keep the upper ribs crunching into the mat, the pelvis imprinting, and trying to reach the low back towards the mat. Don't forget that upper rib cage. The whole rib cage is reaching down. Finish it off with your left leg if you started with the right. Hug your knees and rest. Rock side to side if your back needs that. Okay? Now, we're gonna go into double leg toe taps, which is much harder. You barely move on this one, so don't think that you have to bring the legs down, it's not gonna happen. You're gonna breathe out imprint. You're gonna zip the inner thighs together. You keep zipping, you keep imprinting, connecting the hips with the lower ribs, and the legs go down only as far as this connection here does not increase, all right? So it's a breath out. Remember, the first half of the breath is to imprint. You have the inner thighs zipping together, and then the legs relax down only as far as you can maintain this. Then you breathe in and you pull it back. All right, this is really hard. If it bothers your back, go back to single leg or just work on imprint and maybe one centimeter moving it forward. Watch the low back for those with low, uh, low back issues. Watch this. Don't compensate with the rib cage. Keep going. Really crunch that rib down. We've done the crunches, so we know where the rib needs to be. And then really imprint with the crunch. The legs move a little bit. And then you pull it up. This is very hard. Imprint, imprint, connect, connect, connect. My legs are relaxed, but together. And then you come bring it up. Same rhythm, down and up. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, up. Good. Wanna bring your hands next to your side. If you need to support the head with something, support it. Otherwise, the hands will not appear. They're here. Scapulas are helping. Hug your knees when you've had enough. So six to eight of those, eight is a lot. Six is a good number. Okay? Then we're gonna bring the feet down to the ground and we're gonna do a little bit of bridges. So march one leg down at a time. And let's start with heels in alignment with the sit bones, toes facing forward, arms on the ground, shoulders down, and let's start with some pelvic tilt. So we're just going to round to the bottom ribs here, okay? Press into the heels, don't come up yet, just squeeze the butt, 100% as much as you can. Now roll or lift the butt just a little bit off the ground. Make sure that you're doing it with the glutes and not with just the hamstring and then roll down control. Breathe out, scoop, pelvic floor, pubic bone, belly button, imprint, press into the heel. Press, press, press until you squeeze the butt maximum. Once you got the maximum squeeze, roll the pelvis and the low back, keeping the ribs and the chest pressing down. Breathe in at the top, lengthen your tailbone, breathe out, roll down. Really push one bone at a time, sacrum touches, 
and then tailbone. Let's go. Squeeze the butt. Roll just from the butt. Look at the C shape that I have here. This is from scooping my abdominals and using my glutes to round my pelvis. That's it. So I'm not, do I'm not doing this, yeah? So round, 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 scoop, 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 squeeze butt. Lift that tailbone off the mat and down. All right, if that's working with you, we're gonna go higher. So press, scoop, pelvic floor, belly button, imprint. Press the heels, squeeze the butt, round, round, round. Now keep rounding. You're lifting the tailbone, just the ribs are staying down, connected. Abs are working really tight to maintain this connection of the whole front of the body and the glutes are working to lift you. There's no arch on your back. The lighting is so bad. No arching here, just the lengthening. Knees reaching forward, no collapsing of the knees. Chest relaxes down from the esophagus, bring it down one bone at a time. Lengthen and reach. Let's go, four. Imprint, press it to the heel, squeeze the butt, round the pelvis, roll. Chest and ribs stay pressing down, always connecting to pelvis as high as you can, just using the glutes on the back of the leg. Breathe in, lengthen, breathe out, roll down, and reach. Three more, go. Always from the glutes, always from the glutes, always from the glutes. The higher the glutes go, the more abs you're working to keep the spine in its neutral position, not extended or overextended. And round, squeeze glutes. Abs tight, squeeze glutes, abs tight. Go higher with the glutes, press abdominals down. Roll down from the esophagus. So you wanna roll down from the highest point in your spine. Good. If anybody has something behind their head and head elevated, please take it off. Some of you I can't see. Yeah, it looked like it, but I wasn't sure, <laughs> okay. Press the arms and the scapulas on the ground, knees reaching, and roll down, one bone at a time. Good. Hold it down here. Bring the inner thighs together. Okay, so now we're not gonna roll, but I'm gonna ask you to round the pelvis and come to that beginning position that we went to. And we're just gonna lift straight up and down. Again, you have to make sure you lift with the glutes. So, zip the inner thigh, pull the pelvic floor, imprint. Now, press into the heel, squeeze the butt, and round the pelvis. So only your tailbone might, might have lifted from the ground. Now lift the whole thing up, keeping this position. Go one, bring it down. Notice how high it went, not very high. Two, squeeze, inner thighs, glutes, and up. Good, three, press the chest, the ribs into the ground. Look at this, none of this, down. Four, zip, press the heel, squeeze, lift, down. Five, zip, squeeze, lift, abs, 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 down. Six, down. Seven, and eight, and down. Very good. Keep this, heels together, rotate the toes out, and I want your knees to be in alignment with your toes. It's not a big V, it's just a small V, okay? with the knees slightly out, but I need your heels to be together. Okay, let me see if I get it at an angle like this. So heels together, knees, so and toes apart with knees apart. So don't over rotate the toes. Just a little bit, just a fist width. From here, we're gonna go up and down. First, squeeze the heels towards each other. And you should feel the squeeze of your inner butt a little bit more. Are we there? Everybody can feel it? Keep squeezing the heels, keep squeezing the heels, good. Now, let's lift. Round the pelvis, imprint, lift, one. My knees stay the same and the heels are still squeezing. Two. And down. Squeeze the heel all the time, three. And down. Chest and abs working, four. Squeeze the heel, round the pelvis, lift, rounding. Five. Squeeze everything, good. Six, shoulders down, your neck is nice and long. Don't stress the shoulders and the neck. What did I say, five or six? Seven, five, six, eight, 
abs, 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 squeeze, squeeze. Nine, woo, it's working hard, it's almost cramping. 10, maybe 10, I don't know, I almost lose count. One more bonus, because I lost count. And bonus, wow, good. Bring the knees in, hug, rock side to side. All right, so we're gonna do one set of the 100. You can keep the legs already up here, or if you need to do the 100 with the legs down, go ahead and bring it down. Otherwise, from here, bring the legs to 90 degrees. If you're gonna keep your head down, you're gonna still pulse. You can challenge with the legs going straight as well. If you come up and you just wanna breathe, you can hold the head and just go through the breath. Otherwise, we're gonna be here. Five pumps, breath in, breath out for five. Okay, pick whatever you want. Arms are gonna start to the ceiling, supporting the head or whatever, any choice that you want. Tuck the chin, lengthen the back of the leg, head, inner thighs together, if it doesn't hurt your low back, let's go. Breathe out, crunch. Keep the low back on the ground. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, out. I want strong arms, two. Breathe to the back of the ribs, out, scoop and crunch higher. Three. Tap one, let's go. Four. Five. Crunch higher. Length of the back of the neck, six. Crunch higher. Seven. Where's my strong arms from the back of the shoulders? Eight. Crunch higher. Nine. Keep the abdominals tight. Crunch higher. Ten. Let's go. Pulses. Go as high as you can. And hug it in. Side to side. Good job, everyone. All right, let's roll to the side. Push yourself up. So, if everybody has their band, does, does anybody have a place to tie the band? Anybody or no? You got it tied? Dina got it tied. Anybody else hook the band anywhere? Layla, do you have a place to hook the band? Okay, cool. Sanjana, you don't have a band, so you're just gonna work the movements. Okay, Tamada, hook the band somewhere. Dania, hook the band somewhere. Woo, everybody hook the band. That's awesome. Okay, let me see if I can change the camera so you can, you can see where I'm coming from. All right, so I have my band on the box, which was a last minute thing, but it worked out. Okay, I think I can get you guys more this way. Yes, okay, so let's try that. My video camera is not gonna get me as well as much, but we'll try to go a little lower with this. Nope, okay. Well, maybe there. Okay, all right, we're on our belly, ladies. So for those with any issues on the shoulders, please be very careful with this. Either don't use a band or um watch out how high you go with the band okay because now we've got force pulling us this way we're gonna pull down and away so you're working the muscles there are this way but when you come up you have to resist and don't let the arms go too much overhead if it bothers your shoulders okay all right so first thing we're gonna do no extension we're just gonna find the position of the body on the ground so legs to teach this in camera. So legs can be together if you want, or sit bones or wider. All depends on your low back. So I'm gonna keep my legs sit bones width. My toes are pointed and the legs are pressing on the ground. Then I'm gonna lift my abdominals off the ground, lengthen my tailbone. Okay, I think you were able to see that. Now from this position, my ribs stay down, my head is in alignment with my spine and it's floating. If you don't want your head to float because your neck is tight, then you support, put something under your forehead and support the head on that sponge or towel, whatever it is. Now, my arms are gonna open out to the side. Again, people with shoulder issues, your band can start all the way down here with no resistance and that's totally fine. More resistance, you start higher, shorter band. Let me show you what you're gonna do. 
Tuck your chin. For those of you who do reformer, this is a reformer box. Tuck the chin, lengthen the body, abs tight, tailbone lengthen, arms to side. You're gonna pull from under the armpits, the bands to the hips, squeezing the scapulas, so don't drop the head. Just lengthen and then you control it, either chest height, shoulder height, or you come all the way up, shoulders relaxed and opening from the outer arm. Okay, so tight shoulders, Stay closer to the ground, and if you need to drag the hand on the ground, that's fine. If you don't have a band, you're here. And you're gonna go here, to here, to here, or all the way overhead, which is more work, okay? So pick anything you want. Tamara, bring your head a little bit higher. Yes, there you go, right there. Abs tight, good. Leila, don't go into extension, just the arms, just the arms. And here, remember, anywhere, you don't need to go up overhead. Abs tight if you're here. Let's go, I need eight to 10, okay? Now watch the shoulders, wide shoulders all the time, it's wide. Pull to the hips, squeezing scapulas, open chest, abs tight. It's when the hands come up overhead that you really need to keep your abdominals engaged. Pull. Lengthen the neck and head as the arms reach to your feet. The longest line, abs tight all the time. Even my butt is working, so tighten the glutes. <sighs> Lovely ladies, watch that upper arm coming up. Rotate the arm in the shoulder joint and bring it up without the shoulders coming up. And pull, I guess in the video you can see a little better. <sighs> and up, nice. Let me see if I can show it this way. I'll bring the computer up here and try to show it in this position here. Okay, so you're pulling. When the shoulders come up, you're lengthening and then the arms go up without the shoulders coming up. You see it? So two hips. Okay, so here. Shoulder cap and the squeeze, lengthen. And then, when you come up, wide shoulders, wide shoulders, wide shoulders, just let the arms rotate. Can you see it? Kind of, yeah. So. All right, so we should have finished like 200 by now. We're good. <laughs> I like how everybody collapsed. Okay, now we're going to add extensions to this. Yes, we're doing a lot of back work, okay? So let's add extension to this. If you don't want to add extension, you don't have to. And, or just be here, add extensions here. Reaching arm scapula and up, okay? Oh, okay, too many wires. So what we're gonna do is this, same arm work, out to side. When we're about chest level, abs tight, press into the ribs and extend reaching the band back and come back down. So just like every extension we do in this class, it's from the rib up, so it's just this much. It's not through the low back. Please watch for the low back, okay? So if you don't wanna use the band, you can do mini swans here or you can do prone arm reaches here. All of these are valid. Abs tight, tailbone lengthened. Go, give me, try to give me minimum of eight with extension. Tamara, straight arms all the time. There's no bending of the elbow. Good, so tuck your chin in. Nice, Leila, beautiful. Lengthen the back of the neck, pull, and down. Abs and glutes are tight, so lift the abdominals, lengthen the tailbone, pull, extend, and then come down. Pull, extend, and come down. Keep going, I'm watching you.
pull, extend and come down. Very nice job. Sudanya, bring the shoulders down and away from your ears. Shoulders down and away from the ears, scapulas pulling down. Lengthen the body, squeeze the scapulas, the abs, lengthen the leg, everything is long. Tuck the chin, slowly down. Good, nice tamale, that looks really good. Pull, abs tight. And back to the side, good. And back to the side. When you're done, make a pillow with your head and rest. I mean, yeah, good, keep working at it. That looks really amazing. Good. Make a pillow with your hand and breathe. Very nice. So, stretch back into child's pose. We're going to take a break. And then you're going to come forward towards your band. If you can be on your knees, excellent. If you cannot be on your knees, try to take the band out and we're going to work something different. If you can be here or with the legs crossed in front of your band, great. We're going to do triceps. So the reason I want you to be on your knees is because you need room for the arms to extend out. Okay? We need room for the arms to go back and forward. But if you need to sit, all you need to do, Dina, you can sit on the chair. Okay? So you can sit on a chair. If you need to, you can do it from the band here. All right, so I know both of you have the band tight, so let's go. On the knees, you can do it standing, Dina. I can't see you where you are. Just stand and be, so here. On the knees, here. Tuck your, your, your pelvis, make sure that your glutes are working. Pull the shoulders and scapulas down, elbows next to you, and you're going to press back and release. Press back. If you're sitting, press back, release. Abs tight, ribs pulling in, shoulder and scapulas back, and you're gonna press and release. So notice that my scapula stays really still, right? I'm not moving anything. I wanna squeeze the scapula, squeeze the ribs and the abs. My elbows don't go back too far unless I lean forward a little bit. I push, squeezing scapulas, not rounding the shoulders. So when you straighten the arms, I also need you to squeeze the scapula so we avoid that rounding of the shoulder. Dina, if you want to do it standing, stand on your band and do the, the triceps under the band, yeah? So keep going. For those who are doing triceps, I need 12 to 15. Dina, here. You can do it here. Oh yeah, that's perfect, Dina. Beautiful. You got it. Yes, Leila, that's definitely an option. Just lean forward a little bit, okay? So you're here, abs tight. I'm just gonna bend down so you can see. Don't take the elbows too far back so you don't roll the shoulders. Bring the elbow next to you, squeeze the scapulas, and then straighten and bend. Okay, bend your knees and pull, push. I need the scapula squeezing so we don't round. Good. Nice. Keep squeezing. Open the chest. Nice, Dina. Good, everyone. Nice for now. Good. So, Dania, your elbows cannot travel forward and back. Okay? So, make sure that this is not happening. The elbows freeze. 
When you straighten, the elbows don't go back ever. The scapulas go back, but not the elbows. And then you bend. Keep squeezing an orange, a lemon. And the abs are really tight holding the ribcage also so we're not overextending. Rest. Do we do two sets almost of 12 each? Yeah, maybe three sets. Good. Stretch your triceps. If you're done, so you should have done probably about 20 of these. Stretch both arms. Good, Leila. That looks really nice. Very nice, everyone. Good. All right. So we're going to go back down and we're going to do another set of the back extensions. Okay. So we're going to go back to the belly, back to belly down. And we're going to do one. <laughs> this roller keeps attacking me. <laughs> All right. It wants us to do the lunges. Okay, so back to this, okay? Or back to this, or back to no bands, whatever it is that you wanna do. One more set of these. So, legs, however you chose to do them, I have them sit bones width. I'm pulling my abdominals in and up, I'm lengthening my tailbone, pressing my ribs and pubic bone on mat, lifting abdominals. I'm tucking the, ch the chin gently to lengthen the back of the neck. I'm gonna start higher. Remember, you, if you have a longer band, you can come closer to the band and start lower. So somewhere here, or even lower if you have any issues with the shoulders. If not, grab higher, shoulders wide, not down, but wide, and breathe out, pull, squeeze the scapulas, reach the hands, lifting the abdominals all the time, and forward. So we're gonna do about eight to ten of these pulls you're gonna rest and then we're gonna do it with extension so the second time around should be better now what I want you to make sure is that your arms are rotating nicely without the upper shoulder coming up and down with you okay nice good abs tight everybody abs really tight Tuck that chin, work the neck. Keep the head up there and work the neck muscles. Good job, that's excellent. Pull, <sighs> lengthen, out. Lots of rotation on that scapula. The scapula should be happily rotating. Okay, it's rotating from facing down to facing the sides. When you're done with your 10 to 12, rest. Good. Okay, nice wide shoulders all the time. So for those who can add the extension to this, try to give me anywhere minimum of six all the way to 10 extensions with the band. Okay, if you don't wanna do it with the band, remember you can just do prone arm reaches. You can do the full movement with the extension here, working the arm up and down, or just maybe to the side. Or you can give me baby swans if you need more support. Make sure that the lower back is not doing the work. It's the upper back. Tuck your chin in, Sanjana, so you're looking at the ground. Your head is not coming up. You're lengthening through the back of the neck and head. Good. Lots of abdominals, ladies. It's back work, but the abdominals are supporting your back. So we have the arms moving. As I come to mid, mid level of shoulders here, abs are tight. I'm pushing into my rib cage. I'm squeezing the scapulas and lifting my chest. My head is in line with my spine, and then I come back down. My legs and my tailbone are reaching back the whole time. 
as if somebody's pulling my legs and my tailbone back, my abdominals are lifting, my shoulders are wide, my scapulas are squeezing, my chest is nice and wide. I control it down and never collapse it down. So you don't have to breathe out to come up. You can breathe out before you come up to activate the abs. And then you can, you can breathe into your upper back to come up. Keep going, finish your numbers. I'm just gonna check you real quick. Beautiful, Leila, beautiful. Dina, open that chest, open that chest. Good, that looks good. Tamara, beautiful job. Nice, Mona, beautiful, strong back. Good, Rani, I still need your shoulders and scapulas to come down and think of shifting the chest forward and up. Shift and a little bit up. There you go. Shift, shoulders down. So stay up there for a second, Danya. Now pull the shoulders down. Pull your shoulders down, 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 down. Squeeze your scapulas. Squeeze the scapulas and open the chest more. All of this up there. Look up a little bit more. No, that's too much. <laughs> yeah, and come down. That's good. So make a pillow with your hands and rest for those who are done, and then you can stretch back one more time. We're gonna come up to do lunges. Who wants rollers? Who doesn't want? Rollers, anyone to make it harder? Okay. No rollers. Okay. Mona has a roller. Okay. Now the roller is to make it harder. Okay. I'm going to show. We're basically just going to do lunges. Let me show you without the roller. I don't know how to fit myself in the camera. Okay, there. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start with the right leg forward and options is to start with the leg here, bend the front knee, come down into a 90 to 90 lunge, push yourself up and come back. Now, to make things easier, you can hold on to anything that's in front of you for balance, including, including the roller, a chair, okay? And option two, if you're not holding and you don't have a roller, you want to make it harder, you can lift the leg up. Is this better lighting? Nothing is better lighting. You can lift the leg up, come down as far as you can on that lunge and then land the leg and then push yourself up and pull the knee up again. So I lost balance. So this requires a lot of balance. Notice my torso is slightly forward and my weight is on my front leg. My core is active, so I'm not arching. You need to keep your body in neutral all the time. Another thing, look at my pelvis. When you go down, I don't want to see this. So don't shift the hip and don't drop. You have to stay leveled the whole time you're going up and down, okay? So all these things with the ah, can you see me better? No. Okay, so make sure that your hips are leveled when you step down. If you're out of balance all the time, just keep the leg up there and go up and down. My knee is not collapsing. It needs to go forward and the back knee goes straight down. Okay? Back knee bends. Back knee bends. Look, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. And watch this later. So lean forward a little bit and sit on the leg, on the butt of the front leg. Now, people with rollers. Ultimate challenge. This is really hard. Okay, you're just going to keep your leg pressing on the roller. You're going to go into the lunge. Roll back and squeeze forward. So this is also a lot of balance. 
If you have a ball, put the ball under the foot and try to go into the lunge rolling the ball back. Can be the small ball or a large ball. If you have knee issues, don't do this. So you're gonna give me 10, switch leg 10. So option, easier option, stays put. Option two, step back with the leaning forward. Knees, watch the knees. Watch my back foot, my heel is up. Watch this knee, it doesn't go forward. Back leg cannot stay straight. Abs tight, don't go very low. Option three, knee up, lunge, knee up, and then stay, keep the leg up float uh, as long as you can before you land it. With the ball, under the foot, with the roller under the foot. There you go, Mona, with the roller, excellent. And up. So the standing leg in front of you, Leila, you have to bend the back leg. You, this is a stretch lunge. I need this. Look, bring the back knee down, back heel up. Yes, but don't touch and come back up. Abs, alignment, all that stuff is happening. Good option, Dani, but slowly. Nice, Tamara, way to challenge, very good. Watch that front knee, no wobbling. Lunges are the hardest of the leg work. Good, use your core, Mona. Use the core to, yes. But, ladies, tight, but, everything. Leila, you're stepping back too far. You're stepping back too far, Leila. Too far still, yeah, that's better, good. Same leg, 10 times, then switch legs. legs same thing other leg you can go up and down you have to use a lot of core if you're doing the knee up and down okay keep stability use the glutes come up or touch down not so much touch or stay here or use the ball let me show you with the ball So if you have a ball, remember it has to be half inflated, right? And basically the foot will go on the ball. This is really hard as well. It can be a big ball as well. And then you go down and up trying to stabilize the leg on that back ball. It's really hard with the ball. Harder than with the roller. But remember the ball has to be half, half full. Nice, core, core, core. I don't want to see any of this, none of this. Good job. Sure. Nice, shake your legs. We're gonna do one more set. So if you need to stretch, you can stretch. If you need to shake the legs, shake the legs. Hand on a wall, stretch. You can stretch down if you need to. Does anybody have a ball and you want to try it with the ball? Muna, I did it on, uh, I did the up and down, okay? Because I can't do the, the lunges. Is, is one set enough? My left knee is feeling yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. It's enough, sir. Yes. Okay. One set is enough. Do you need to do anything else, leg? If not, go down to the floor and do more abs. How are your wrists and arms? You can do opposite arm and leg reach if you want, just for a little bit more core and alignment. If on your elbows is fine. Okay. If you want to, you can do that. Does anybody want to do lunge with ball? Who has a ball? Leila, it's too much, huh? It's gonna be tough. Yeah, try it, Tamara. Is it half deflated? Yes, good. Okay, second set. With your, to with your toy or without your toy, you guys decide. One more set of lunges, okay? So go back to the first leg that you did. 
that was for front. And then I'm trying to be in the light because it's really dark. And then put the toy or whatever you have on the other leg. And then again, so Leila, find, find, I need you guys, use your pelvic floor, use your abdominals, because that's what's going to give you stability. Also think, inner thigh, pull the inner thigh up to the pelvic floor, and that's going to give you a lot of stability. So, inner thigh, pelvic floor, and then you go into the lunge. This is my bad side, obviously, really bad. Okay? And then try to go down, keep squeezing, keep working. Woo! Bad side, no ball. Bad side, just to add to stabilize more. So up and down, squeeze the glutes as much as you can. Remember, you're leaning forward a little bit. The weight is on the front leg, the abdominals are lifted. Watch the wiggling. So if you're wiggling too much, what do you do? Don't go so low. Okay, so if you start going low and you lose your stability, don't go so low. You can see yourself good, Sanjana, better control. Good, nice one, you're still using the roller, that's excellent. Dania, do you need something else? No, okay. Nice, Tamada, with the ball. Good job. It's super challenging. Yes, I know. Super challenging with the ball. It's much worse than the roller. Good. Lean forward, Tamada, a little bit. Lean forward, and that will help you go back a little bit more. Yes. Good job. Nice. Nice. Make sure you do both sides again. Good. So make sure you're doing both sides. The leg is pressing down if you have something. Hips are aligned. Keep lifting from the inner thigh to the pelvic floor. Lifting the abdominals. Keeping your neutral. Neutral pelvis. Aligned pelvis. And use that front leg to do a lot of the work. Good, Leila. Keep bending that back knee. Nice, Leila. Good, everyone. Very nice. The second round is really beautiful. Use that core, okay? Use the core. That's, your, that's everything. If your core is active, you're going to be really aligned and really stable. Sanjana, don't lift your knee so high. Just lift it a little bit so this stays intact. Yeah? So you're not doing this. Just lift enough to everything's still in place and then take it back again. And then just a little bit if you want to use your stability. Good, Tamara, using the ball and lifting the knee. Woo, nice, Luna, you look amazing. When you ladies are done, whoever is done, you can come down to the floor for us to stretch and then we're done. That was really good. Woo well done. Excellent work. Good. Good job. All right, so all the things you want or can do for stretches. If you just want to lay on your back, do the number four. Okay? You can also do the pigeon. Now, if you want to stretch the quads, come up into a kneeling position. And then you're going to lift the back leg, grab it and stretch. Okay, if you can't, I'm gonna stop this video